guys! Welcome to Law Diaries Lex Comentario. So we are here again for another Bridging Program Vlog MM. So today is actually August 18, 2020 na po. And I'm just here sitting on my chair contemplating why did I study law? What have I done in my life? Why, bitch? Why? <laughs> actually guys, katabi ko pa nalaman just an R or ano ba? Basta, kagabi ko lang nalaman bago ako matulog na meron pala kaming quiz today. Ka-stress. Sa aming thoughts and damages. And before pala ako matulog, I, um, I put some page vlogs dun sa aking civil na subject which is yung sa credit cards ko. Kasi, I was planning to read it today. But since nalaman ko kahapon na meron pala kaming quiz sa aming thoughts and damages, so definitely guys, I'm gonna read some cases. Kasi last quiz, yung mga questions ni sir is parang sa kaso, parang nandun sa kaso. And our coverage is noisance. Actually, tapos na naman kaming mag noisance sa aming property at yun na subject. So I just need to review kasi yes, tapos na kami noon. Good thing, at tapos na kami nun. Pero sa aking tours and damages na book, yes, nabasa ko na yung noisance, yung nasa quasi-delect na kasi ako ng mga page before lockdown. Pero since nag-start yung bridging program, guys, hindi ako nakabasa ng tours talaga. Yung mga binasa ko is mga, ano lang, mga parang reviewers that mga cases and all. So this time, mabasa ko ng mga cases. And, ewan ko, parang walang binigay ng mga cases yung classmate namin. And I just want to apologize guys sa aking mga previous vlog kasi medyo tinataban na ako ng vlog M eh. So parang konti lang yung mga vlog ko or vlog clips. And yes, konti lang talaga siya dahil kasi wala naman akong makabuluhang ginawa for the past few days which relates about law school or M eh. So alam naman yung vlog ako na kumakain, ako dahil, di ba? Law school tong vlog natin. So dapat yung mga laman ng vlog natin is mga law related M eh. So since hindi ako nagbasa ng books, nag-edit lang ako ng videos, kumakain and also, ayun, wala masyadong laman. So today, ayun na nga, magbabasa tayo ng torts dahil. Ano ba, day? Uy! <laughs> Hindi ako maligo, day. Nag-apply na ako ng parang day cream. I don't know. Tignan nyo. Nag-iinit na yung face ko dahil sa day cream. <laughs> ito yung codal ko, guys. This one comes from Rex. Actually, um, hindi ko ito ma-recommend. I highly recommend yung Kodal sa Central Bookstore kasi mas malaki siya, guys. At yung font size niya is mas malaki. So, more space para mag-highlights or more space para marami kayong lagyan ng mga ano, ng mga notes nyo, ganon. Pero hindi na ako bumili no, sa Central Bookstore kasi, ayun, nag-start na kasi akong mag-notes dito dahil sayang naman to, di ba? So, eto na lang, go na lang. As you can see, kung mapapansin nyo guys, ayan, merong mga color coding yan. Ayan, based sa iba't ibang subjects sa civil code. Diyan, dyan ko nila guys. So, yung mga colors dyan and all. And dito rin, ayan, merong mga page vlogs. And ito is parang, ano lang, um, for example, itong parang may pink, orange, blue, ganyan. Pag blue, ano yan, um, parang coverage yan ng, ano, ng, ng different modes of acquiring ownership. M, eh, tapos, kapag may mga titles or mga subsections, ganun, nilalagyan ko na lang siya ng page vlogs. Parang ganun. Hmm, tingnan nyo. So, dito is, tapos ko nang basahin yung noisance. So, I'll just need to check if saan na yung noisance. So, I'm actually checking my Google Classroom kasi merong nag-pop up na notification sa phone ko. And then, girl, ayan na. So, nag-post si attorney na sabi niya, Good morning, everyone. Please be reminded of our quiz tonight at 6 p.m. Questions will be posted at 5.55 p.m. I will close the submission at exactly 6.30 p.m. Coverage is noisance. Please bookmark your submission and do not forget to indicate your names and email addresses in the space provided. Thank you. OMG. No, check ko yung kodal ko, guys. I remember tapos na kami sa noisance. Yes, I remember that. 
kasi nabasa ko na yung noise nun. Pero hindi ko siya na notes dito sa aking kodal. So, ayun. So, kukunin ko muna yung book na naman ni para sa obligations and contracts. And then, I'll review the noise nun. And then, dahil kasi 6, 5.55 open na daw yung parang questions ni sir. And then, 6.30 mag-pass. Kaya ba yun ang ating typing skills, dahi? As you can see, guys, ang linis, linis ng aking noisans ayaw mag-focus ng aking camera. So, ayan, walang mga notes na noisans, eme, ayan, o, oh, walang mga notes, ang linis, linis. But, I'm very sure na tapos ko na tong nabasa, dahi. So, I just need to, ano, review, tapos lagyan ito ng mga notes and all. Hindi ko siya na notes, guys, because I remember during our property na subject, may noisance kami doon. Ano kasi, uh, supposedly, yung schedule namin sa exam is, example, Monday. So, ayun, dahil marami kaming nakaschedule na exam sa Monday, so yung mga classmates ko nag-ask ng favor kay sir, na sir, baka naman, ipospone, eh, me, bukas na lang. So, ayun, so, sabi ni sir, sige, bukas na lang. So, ayun, natulog ako that day kasi stress ako sa recent na exam namin that time. And then, suddenly, nag-announce si sir na, hindi pwede, hindi pala pwede hindi mapuspon. Kaya ayun, wala na akong time na, na makapag-aral or na makapaglagay-lagay pa ng mga notes eh Kaya wala siyang ano day. So, hanggang dito ko lang siya nalagyan. O, oh, tingnan nyo. So, hindi ko siya natapos. Dito sa voluntary easements and noisance. Ayan. Siyan ko lang natapos siya. O, oh, ayan. Yung mga notes natin day. Laban day. O. Oh. So, I'm just going to get my, ano, book sa, ano, sa property. Yes, this one is property. At review natin itong noisance die at lagyan natin ng mga ano-anong notes. As you can see, ayan, nyugto na naman yung face ng lola nyo, guys. Dito sa break na na naman ako kasi I, I just want to study and then, you know, meron talaga mga annoying people or circumstances na dumanating sa buhay in which nagokos ng pagiging err. Hindi ko maintindihan, guys. Basta, nag-breakdown ako, umiyak ako, and all. So, hindi ako nakapag-study. So, ngayon lang ako magsistart mag-study, and I'm so pissed right now. If wala talaga kaming quiz or what, I just want to lay on my bed and then cry and all. <sighs> Nakaka-stress. You know what? Law school is not that hard, but, you know, people around you makes it hard. Aww. So, if you're a law student, make sure that you are in a circle of friends or people that supports you, that gives you, ano, motivation, yung ganon. Huwag yung mga bad influence, ba? Huwag yung nakaka-stress kasi hindi yan nakakatulong. <sighs> nakaka-stress, some problems in my family, personal problems, relationship, money, whatever. Anyway, yep, I'm currently studying. I have no choice, so... I'll just update you guys pag natapos ko na to. Kunti lang naman tong noisance. I hope natapos ko to and I still have 10 cases. So maybe I'll just search on the internet yung mga case digest kasi hindi ko na kayang basahin yung full cases talaga ngayon. At may stress pa talaga ako ng bonggang bongga. 30 minutes lang kasi yung quiz namin mamaya. So madalian lang yung quiz. Basta I'm so stressed. I'm just gonna study kasi baka mawala na naman yung mood ko sa so study at I end up na naman na walang basa and all. So, ayun. As you can see, guys, I just finished reading Noisance again or reviewing topics about Noisance and I also um, done some ano, note-taking. So, itong Article 64, yan, nilagyan ko siya ng ano, word na definition. So, it means na itong article na ito is dito nakasulat yung definition ng noisance and ito siya and meron siyang enumerate dyan so each enumeration nilagyan ko siya na example so like number one it injures or endangers the health or safety of others ayan nilagyan ko siya na examples house in danger of falling or fires or explosive 
factories. Then, ito naman number 2, a noise or offense the senses. So, ayan, nilagyan ko siya ng example. So, too much horn blowing. Ganon. So, this one has, ano, 4, 5. Yeah, 5 na um, enumeration, which I also put some examples. And then, itong article 695, it justifies the two classification of noisance, which is the public noisance and private noisance. Then, ito namang Ano, 696, so when successor to the property may be held liable. So, parang, itong parang description ko dyan, guys, is, iyan yung topic para dyan. And then, ito rin is, yun, yan yung topic para dyan na article. And as you can see, merong pa-heart dyan. Pag may heart, yung gilid ng article, it means that this article is important and it needs to be memorized and yun. How would I know that this article is important? Because our teacher say so. So, kapag sinabi ni sir, um, this article is important, so I mark my book or my my codal ng parang my heart. So, para ma-remind ako. So, whenever I have a review na, so, ma-remind ako na this article is important and I need to memorize this one. So, ito naman. So, ayan yung mga remedies how to abate MS. So, ayan, nilagyan ko siya ng mga notes and all until there. Since maliit lang naman yung noisance, so madali ko lang siyang natapos. And also, I think I'm gonna put some ano, sticky notes over here kasi parang maglalagay ako ng what is noisance per se and per accident or parang ganon. So, ayan na guys, just let me know if you want a separate video on how I make notes on my codal so I can make one for you. So, ayun na nga. So, pupunta na ako sa aking laptop and I'll search for the digested cases kasi sampung cases yun guys para matapos na natin ito. So, I'll be back. So, I just want to end my vlog with an update na nag-online class po kami uh, kanina and then may pa-quiz, diba, sa TORS? Unfortunately, guys, hindi nabigay yung questions on time. Kaya, pinagsabay ko, guys, yung online class. At the same time, yung pag-a-answer ng quiz, which is very nakakapraning. Nakakapraning talaga, guys. Nakaka-stress itong araw na to. So, ayun, matutulog na po ako. So, see you tomorrow for our next vlog.